The Anglican Church of Kenya Archbishop Jackson Olesa Pitt has criticized the Church of England's decision to allow priests to preside over civil marriages of same-sex couples. The Archbishop accused the Church of England of secularizing the Church by normalizing sin. Archbishop Sapit stating that the Anglican Church of Kenya will not recognize its mother church's decision to bless same-sex marriages. Ole Sapit warned that the Church of England will become irrelevant and lose its identity unless it repents and returns to biblical teachings. Seth Olale reports. 48 hours after the General Synod of the Church of England permitted priests to bless the civil marriages of same-sex couples, the Anglican Church of Kenya, through its Archbishop Jackson Ole Sapit, has condemned the move, terming it a departure from biblical teachings on marriage. In a letter addressed to its mother church in England, Archbishop Ole Sapit states, and I quote, Whereas we in the Anglican Church of Kenya are saddened by the departure of our mother church from the true gospel, their resolutions do not apply to us and we do not recognize any teachings that is extra biblical or contrary to the teachings of the Bible. The head of the Anglican Church of Kenya adding that, we affirm that marriage, as taught in the Holy Scriptures, is between one man and one woman, monogamous and heterosexual. Any deviation from this God-designed covenant relationship is sinful and unacceptable. The SEK Archbishop warning that, unless the Church of England preaches the gospel as inherited, it will soon be irrelevant and lose its identity as a church. The Church of England's general Synod voted by 250 votes to 180 to back a proposal by bishops to have priests permitted to bless the civil marriages of same-sex couples. The Synod also agreed that the church will apologize for the harm it has caused to LGBTQ people. The controversial same-sex relationships and marriages took center stage during the 15th Lambeth Conference that brought together 650 Anglican bishops at Canterbury, England, last year. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, at the All Saints Cathedral, Nairobi.